Okay, shalom, shalom. Kom ya shalom. Koholoyimla, Yahweh b'ashim yavashai, b'hashim, rakha hakodach. The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do real well. The body spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to the Akim and Akwaf. Let's all here sincerely keep on the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh b'ashim yavashai to the best of their ability. Jachanan the Waf. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the spirit. I um, wanted to go off into something that the governor here in the state that I live in, um, you know, is talking about as far as these firearms, these guns. OK, um, it says Whitmer signs red flag gun law, allowing judges to order firearms to be removed from homes of people determined to be to be threat to themselves or others. Now, the thing of it is, is who's going to decide that? And it's nothing for a person to get a gun if they really want to have a gun, man. Guns, there's too many fucking guns in America to just be able to, you, you know, it's not going to stop nothing. <laughs> Let's just be honest. It's not going to stop anything. But when I read into it and, you know, I'm looking at it, one of the things that, you know, came to mind was, you know, we got this one camp, you know, of course, Sakari. Them brothers be talking about bringing sticks to camp. They got guns at camp. Now, that's not wise. You know what I'm saying? And we don't need that because we have the protection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because if it's up to the Lord, a gun not going to help you if the Lord don't want you at. <laughs> if he wants you out of here, you out of here. You know, a gun is not going to help you in no shape, form or fashion, man. If the Lord, you know, because everything that the Lord wants is going to be allowed, basically. His, his will is going to be done. So all that running around that camp and just looking crazy as hell, you know, recording yourself going to the shooting range and all this other stuff. When we're, we're preaching the gospel, telling a whole other nation that they're going into slavery in the future. <laughs> you know, you know that this truth, this gospel, this, this gospel, this truth is, is, is nothing like sweet white Jesus Christianity. And, 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 and our people know it, man. You know, so when the straight comes down to it, they can they can, you know, take a law like this and say, hey, we see them out on the street corners, you know, uh, uh, speaking hate speech or whatever they want to call it they can wrap it up however they want to do it and say hey we got to come and and you know raid their homes and you know um esau esau get down on you at you know four o'clock in the morning five o'clock in the morning you know just in the dead of the night just you know after you didn't uh, catch you on a on a on a, on a just the weirdest of days <laughs> you know everybody sleep battering ram and hit the door anyway Let's see what, uh, you know, it's talking about. I mean, it's the basis with the title, though. Uh, it says Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Now, mind you, this is the, um, the governor, too, that those so-called white boys, um, you know, had planned to kidnap about a year or so ago, you know. So I'm not sure if that's playing any parts in it, but I think they they in jailed a few of those guys or whatever. But anyway, it says um, Governor Gretch, Gretchen Whitmer on Monday signed a red, fl red flag legislation in the law. Aiming to keep firearms away from those at risk of harming themselves or others. The new law, also known as extreme risk protection orders, is expected to go into effect next spring. It will allow family members, police, mental health professionals, roommates and former dating partners to petition a judge to remove firearms from those they believe pose an imminent threat to themselves or others. See that? That, that's just too much blatant power right there because anybody can say, hey, I think that nigga crazy, man. And, and, and judge, you need to take his guns away. Now, next thing you know, it's going to be a lot of, <laughs> I got to say it, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of uh, cowboys and Indians going down. They going to try and take some of these so-called white people um, guns, man, because there's a lot of malicious here. And it's just another step, you know, it's just another step because she's down with Joe Biden. She's, you know, she's, you know. She's definitely down with Joe Biden on some running mate type shit, you know, and um, they're going to use all these gun violence shootings, these school shootings, these just um, these they're calling them mass shootings, all these different shootings that's going on. See, they're trying to get rid of that gun out of you, 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 you Americans hands. See, <laughs> and, and, and people not paying attention to it. Some so-called white people, hey, they know what's up. They already know what they're trying to do. Let me see, but well, let me grab this real quick. Uh, 2 Corinthians 2011, of course. So you have to realize the so-called white man, they get out here and get to talking peace and safety. That's when you know the shit about to hit the fans. Because uh, it's for your safety. It's for your safety. Anybody can say, 
I, they kind of looked at me wrong today. I, you know, it's just something about them. Um, you know, I know they didn't say, you know, it doesn't say this in this text, but this text is kind of scary to me. You know, it can be anything. Or they gave me a phone call and they was acting erratic and I know they own guns. You can get into a, just a regular disagreement. And next thing you know, it's some people at your, the, the police is at your door, you know. And if you don't allow them to come in and take the guns until you can prove that you're not a fucking wacko, <laughs> they're going to whack your ass off. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. And we're not ignorant of the devices of, um, of Satan, man. It don't make no difference whether it's the right-hand side or the left-hand side or the, the so-called white people, Democratic or Republican, left or right, blue or red. They're all just, it, 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 they're not to be trusted. The scripture says, never trust thine enemy. But see, we're not relying on no physical nothing. Our Lord is going to take care of um, everything, man. But see, these so-called white people, they're going to be up in arms about this type of shit. <laughs> they're not going to want to go for this. Trust me. Okay, well, let's see what else they got in here. I ain't want to keep this lesson long. I just seen it and I'm like, yep, they about to get down. Well, oh, that was the other app I was in, Salakia. They about to get down. It says, if the ERPO is granted, the judge, and probably a lot of so-called white people, they going to go and, you know, sue the state and all this other shit, calling it unconstitutional and all kinds of shit. It says the judge would then have 14 days to set a hearing during which the flag person would have to prove they do not pose a significant risk. Now, how do you do that? I, you know what kind of troubles that man? That's man. I tell you, boy, it's going to be money out of pocket. People going to be getting lawyers. It, it's just going to make the judicial system a bust of money. For one. OK, it says um, as Michigan becomes the 21st state to implement a red flag law. Whitmer said at Monday signing in Royal Oak, it's a proactive way to prevent mass shootings. No, it's not. Suicides and other forms of gun violence. Look, man, a person can get out here and get busy with a damn knife, man. A person can get out here with just a baseball bat. You know, a person can get out here with, 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 with shit that you can. You can walk through Walmart, man, and, 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 and walk down the damn kitchen aisle and, and grab <laughs> a damn butcher knife, man. You can go to go, go, go to Home Depot or some shit or, you know, your local uh, uh, gardening area and get a damn hatchet, an axe, a damn shovel, anything, man. Anybody can use anything to um, a damn brick. First, can pick up a brick off the ground and get down. And then most of these people that's out here doing these mass shootings that when they're when they're finding them and, and, and then they going into their records, motherfucker ain't never had nothing on their record in their life. They was just, oh, I never would have thought that he would have done that. I don't know what made him break. <laughs> Come on, man. It's not about to help nothing. This right here is, is that slickery that they're trying to do to get them guns out of these Americans' hands. Because they said, what's well, that? the 21st state? And it's mainly these Democrats, Democratic states, man. Okay, it says, um, the ERPOs will... At long last, allow law, I don't know what the fuck that's, uh, anyway, enforcement, allow law enforcement to have the tools that we need to do our jobs to prevent the senseless tragedies, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel said. See, and it's a bunch of women, man. Women, man. It's a bunch of women out here, you know. And the scripture says that a woman shouldn't usurp authority over, over the man. It's, it's, it's a woman's governor. The attorney general, she's a woman, and they just out here just making all kinds of decisions. And then when I tell you these so-called white men here, they hate them. Even on the Democratic side, you got some simps, but them Republicans, oh, they dislike them with, with, a, with a strong dislike. For real, for real. It says Whitmer was joined by gun violence survivors outside the 44th District Court building, including students from Oxford High School, Michigan State University, as well as former U.S. Rep Gabby Giffords and other lawmakers. Man, a bunch of bullshit, bro. I tell you, man. Anyway, earlier this spring, Whitmer signed two other packages of gun reform legislation, including law for safe storage and universal background checks, along 
with the red flag legislation, all three laws were introduced in the days following the mass shooting of MSU that claimed the lives of three students and left several others injured. They don't know if that person had no mental health problems or not. I'm telling you, how are you going to know? It's just like, oh, he's looking at me strange. I seen the guy on the bus. He was, you know, it was just something about him. You know, he had, you know, I, I just don't know. One of his, one of his, 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 his shoes were kind of dirty. It looked like it might have had a speckle of blood or something. I mean, it just, it could be, it, these people, you know what, this man, come on, man. There's people out here going through divorces. You can just have a simple, I'm telling you, just a simple, simple, and you know women going to get down. He got guns. And, and some of these simple ass dudes, like, <laughs> but your honor, and guess what? They're not gonna, they're not gonna pull it on the women like how they gonna pull it on the men, cause this women out here that's got guns is crazy as all hell too. Cause it's, <laughs> it's probably more more women here in, in in Michigan that's got guns than actually guys. Them the ones that's been um you know piling up at these damn um. Uh, CCW um, trainings and all this other stuff. The, the, the numbers as far as the women is through the roof. So, hey, I mean, it is what it is, man. It says all of these laws are supported by a majority of Michiganders. I think that's important to say over and over again, Whitmer said. They're also supported by a majority of gun owners in this country. And only in the U.S., A, guns are the number one killer of our kids. We must take action today. I'm proud to say in Michigan, we are the hell out of here, man. This place was 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 stolen on violence, stolen with the with the Gatling gun, stolen with the 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 the, the, the revolver six shooter, man. When the West was won. Come on, man. And then this is Esau Edom's. This is his um his gift. The Lord bless Esau Edom with the sword, man. This is his gift. And he's not coming up off of it easily. And it's plenty of you. You see these so-called white people. They tell you quick. Yeah, come and try and take my stuff and see it's going to be. And they already know, man, it's going they're going to put see what they're going to do is they're going to put a lot more officers lives in danger as opposed to um, um, keeping them safe by doing this. Because these officers are going to go to these people's houses. And some of these, 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 I'm telling you, <laughs> the so-called white man, he's proud as hell. You're not coming to take nothing from me. And they will have a complete shootout. We've seen it. It's been going on. Hell, it's, it's been police officers getting popped just for showing up on a domestic um, domestic violence call. Tell you. <laughs> so the whole thing is, like I said, we understand the enemy, man. We understand what they're trying to do because they need these guns out of the Americans hands before they can implement the, 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 the crazy shit they're really trying to do. Because they know that a lot of people just not going for it. And then you've been allowing all these guns to be made for all these these years, hundreds of years since America been a country. Now, all of a sudden, uh, you, you're going to make a law where somebody can go to go to a judge and say, you know what? Uh, he just hasn't been acting right lately. He's been a little bit depressed. And he owns a gun, your honor. He owns three of them. I'm just not sure what he's going to do. And I'm telling you, yeah, the, the majority of the gun owners is so-called white people, man. Is, they, they, they have a, a motherfucker that look like the military, man, at their house. Some of these, 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 um, these people, man. Now, Jake got a few guns. You know, Jake will have, you know, I got this, I got that, I got my switch, I got this. You know, but Jake be on some silly shit, man. He, they don't have the type of stuff that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, be having, man. Because that's their gift. They were gifted with that sword, man. So... You know, I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec. You know, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. And, and, and you, we have to walk circumspectly. The scripture says to watch and pray. This is some slickery right here. And anytime Esau getting down on a slick, man, we supposed to be reporting on it. We supposed to be showing it. Because like I said, again, you camps that's going out here on the highways and byways. And, 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 and you, you, you literally are out here with a damn rifle strap. You, I mean, you looking like the damn militia. That's not our job, man. Our job is to go out and teach the scriptures. Try and reel in the, the you know, the the, the, the the elect, man. That's what that's what our job is. Here you go. You out here. You 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 want, you know. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, man, with that type of shit, 
Cause they can take anything. They already been using this, um, you know, this this AI technology to to trick your voice. They can put any words that they want to put to your voice. Then here you go. You gotta go. Oh, he said that. We're gonna boo 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 boo. Such and such such and such police officers. Open the door. <laughs> I'm telling you. Anybody can roll by the camp and say, you know what? I seen them guys out there and they, and they was talking about how they hate America and, and, and we're we're going into slavery and, and, and they're out there with guns, your honor. Next thing you know, police officers pulling up trying to disarm you while you at camp with, with the with the damn Bible in your hand looking silly as hell. And if you make any type of slight twitch, your ass is, go is out of here, man. So be careful with the with the with the with the you know the um the firearm thing, man. Now some states, you know, it's legal for you to own one. You want to own one, hey, fine. But I'd say going to camp and having that look and being all online, you know, I'm showing you, I'm at the shooting range. Look at how many holes I hit in a row, you know, all that shit. <laughs> Not wise. Not wise, man. Because the Lord said to be um. Uh, um Wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. And you and, and see those camps, they bringing it on all of us. We may I'm not even don't even have nothing to do with Sakari. You know, GMS don't have nothing to do with Sakari. IUIC, but, you know, they be having a lot of, um, you know, unity camps so they can kind of say, all right, well, I seen them with them, them with them. But, you know, and hey, we follow after um, the, the apostles, to, you know, Tahar, Gabar, you know, our, our apostles of GMS. And the bishops, the elders, we follow them and they tell us straight up, don't be doing no shit like that. We're not a violent group. We're not a violent um, um, camp, man. We go out, we teach the scriptures and them scriptures, they cut. That's all we need. Them scriptures sound bold to people because they ain't never heard the gospel being taught like that before. But hey, the gospel is the gospel and we have to go out and teach it the true way. But when you have these damn guns on you and you saying those types of things, you know, the white man is the devil. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm just using this as an example, man. That was just something that came to mind by the spirit. So just be careful, man. When you're going, if you're coming into this truth and you're, you know, just deciding, like, you know, you're feeling like the Lord and placed it on you to go out and teach, you know, hey, just go out and teach, man. Get your garment, get your scriptures, find you a couple of locations in case it rain or whatever. You know, you want to find you some with some shelter. Find you in the, you know, have you a couple of different um, locations just in case, you know, but just go and teach the gospel, man. That's just like the little scrappy scrap that um, I asked you PK and um, uh, 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 IUIC had um, um, that's been floating around. I just think, come on, man. They're like, see, they're violent. And some of them do be having guns. Not all of them, but they and they don't give a shit about which ones do or which ones don't. They're gonna be looking at looking at all of us like we're some armed men. Come on, man. So I just wanted to touch on that, man. With that, I predict the lesson was edifying. Come on,